How you doing YouTube? This is D Nasty Karibo. 7727. I um haven't made a video in a while. I've been really busy with school work and playing. Um I recently topped my regionals with the uh, Madolce stun. I'll make a video referring to that uh probably in the next twenty four hours. And I promise you that I will make the video. I decided to make a video posting a deck profile of prophecies or spell books. Everybody's uh, making a big hoop about this deck. And I've been loving it for the past six months on DN. Four to six months, and now it's finally out. Um, this is the very first version that I just threw together. Uh, I've never had more people ask me about what am I running and why am I running it than any other deck ever before. Like this deck, I guess everybody wants to know whether people are trying out. So I'm just going to go over it. It's very, it's a very basic. A lot of cards are very basic and some aren't. So I'll just begin. Uh, we all know that uh, High Priestess is broke. Um, some people are running three. I think that's suicidally crazy. But, you know, some people like three. Um, you run three straightos. No no questions there. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to run two, or two, three, or no Valors. Um, I really like having Valor in my hand in this deck. You know, Valor's very live with a lot of the spellbook cards you could combine it with. But you never know, I may cut it. I'll get to the cutting part in a little bit because I run a lot of cards in this deck. I run three profit, uh, Temperance. Some people aren't running them at all. I don't know why they wouldn't. Temperance fetches out, you know, uh, High Priestess. So I run three of her. Of it. I don't love to open with this more than like anything almost. Next, I have a Apprentice Magician, I have Justice of Prophecy, and I have a Breaker the Magic Warrior. I like Breaker because he could pop a back row. Obviously, he's a plus one. Then you could use Spellbook of Power or uh, Spellbook of Wisdom to protect him, and then plus an extra card. Uh, a lot of people just now are starting to use Justice because she's a, she's a plus one, and she's really good. She's 16. What I like to do most of the time is summon her, use Spellbook of Power, attack over her, Search for a spell, uh, a spell book, and then tribute her off and search for uh, the spell book and, you know, uh, High Priestess. Apprentice Magician is just there because of the um, the tower, of course. I'm sure everybody knows how, how good the tower is. I remember originally some people said they didn't like the tower. I, I thought they were crazy. There's no prophecy destroyer in here. That definitely throws the deck out. Uh, I tried Hangman, and I didn't really like him. Um, I, I believe that's all I can really cover. I have some pretty interesting cards I'm going to side with this um, that I think might help out, but I'm not going to do side deck or extra deck in this video because that's uh, still up for debate. Next I have the spell lineup. That's 17 monsters. Next I have the spell lineup, which is three spell book of secrets. Uh, this card's ridiculous. I'm about to get a Spanish one, so I'm actually happy about that. Um, three spell book of wisdom and three spell book of power. I think spell book of power and spell book of wisdom is what keeps the deck going. And keeps you coming back into the game. Some people are only running one power or two lances. I call it lance. <laughs> uh, some people are only running one power and double spellbook of wisdom. I guess they want to add more text. I, I I'm considering going down to two powers and two wisdoms because I'm trying to shorten this deck. But right now I, I just love if I if I can open up a power and a wisdom together. I know that I'm in a good spot no matter what happens. Uh, like barring a solemn warning, but you know that's here nor there. Next is my card I run two. I run two creature swaps. I run creature swaps and combinations with the... Anytime I have a Valor and a Apprentice Magician, it really helps to get rid of those monsters you just can't handle at the time. We all know how good creature swap is. Um, you know, you have the Psychic Jumper that Jeff Jones used, and I'm, I'm trying to implement something like that with the Apprentice Magician. It's not no Serene Witch, but it'll get the job done because the Apprentice Magician searches for her. Which will let me draw an extra card. I mean, you know, search for another spell book. Um, next, I have my one of spell books. The tower is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, spell book of fate. I have spell book of eternity. And I also have spell book of life. Uh, spell book of life, in my opinion, is probably the deadest card in the deck. I know some people, oh, oh you're crazy. You know, it can't be MST'd. And you bring, up, you bring back her, which is good. So I run one of her, but... She's definitely, if I test hand this deck up 50 million times, this is almost always the most deadest card in my hand. Um, I'm not going to take it out because you need it so you can search for it. Um, Eternity starts over the, the loop with the uh, Priestess. People are just now starting to catch on to that. I've known about that for months. 
Then you have Spellbook of Fate. Spellbook of Fate, some people don't like because it removes spellbooks out of your grave. But I find myself searching for Spellbook of Fate almost any time. It's turn 2 or turn 3 and I need like a, a Spellbook search. I can search for another secret or I can search for a Fate. Uh, fate um, is very defensive card. Although some people don't like how it can kill your engine. It can definitely protect you late game. I uh, highly recommend at least trying this card out. I know I'm definitely trying it out. It's going to take a lot for me to want to remove this card. Because it's just way too flexible and broken. And it's saved me and won me way too many games. And then I have my normal staple spells. Uh, one MST, Heavy, Dark Hole, and Monster Reborn. Really don't need explaining those. Uh, sometimes I wonder about Heavy in this deck because of the fill spell. But Heavy's Heavy. And that's uh, basically all you can say about that. I'm um, doing quick math. I believe that's 20 spells, which is a uh, or 19. Yeah, that's 19 spells. It's pretty funny how I have 19 spells, 17 monsters. Um, we all know about the death to beast, death to Barkion. I mean, death to beast, death, death to Sheen. And I'm definitely taking that into consideration while I made this deck. Hence the Veilers, which almost doesn't mean anything versus beast, but you know, that's here, here, here near say. Plus, you have side deck for that. And then my last part is the traps, obviously. Uh, it's really not much to explain here. I just run double Phoenix Chain, double Compulse, and one of of the best, some of the best traps in the game. Uh, no Solemn Brigade, only because I'm, this deck is usually um, it has a lot of times where I consider it to be more open. And I know like some of my friends are starting to run Trag and all these other things, and I just like having a little bit more of a trap lineup. There's nothing wrong with them. Usually when I can open it with one of them and like any spellbook combo and a Veiler, I'm usually sitting pretty high when I have the tower. Uh, Phoenix Change is amazing. That's for the Beast and for the Xi'an and it's all around good right now. I'm, I'm glad it's starting to come back into the format. Mark my words. Uh, you already see people are already starting to run this card, so it's definitely going to happen. You have Compulse, which is just flexible all around. You know, there's really no need arguing with that and you just have the one of traps. Okay, the reason why I made this video is because I wanted to get feedback from y'all, uh, my fans out there, and other people. I This deck is currently at a very scrubby 45 cards. After um, I see people top four of uh, Rhode Island with like 43 and 44, I know it's terrible because I believe no deck should ever be under, should never be 42 or less. And at the end of the day, I, I always enter with just 40 cards, but right now I'm testing Justice, and I'm testing the one of Traps. Um, I might cut a Valor, I might cut a Power or a Wisdom. So right now I have it at 45 cards, so I can get a true test out of it. I'm going to do a lot of playtesting tonight, I'll let y'all know how it goes. Uh, let me know what y'all would cut, or what y'all would add in, or what you think about it overall. Uh, I know the extra deck is very important, and the side deck is very important, and trust me, my side deck is... One of the most crucial parts to me, if not the most important part of the game. Because you almost play more decks, more games side deck than not playing at all. So, um, you know, there's really nothing else I can really say about the deck. Just let me know what y'all think. And uh, I'll try to have more videos up. I, I try to put more deck videos up and I keep changing decks left and right. I've gone through so many decks and I've just bought cards and sold them. So I'll try to do better with that. I'll have a YCS Seattle I can't really do predictions because this format is so like amazingly random, like which is why it's a good format. And I love the fact that I can say that as a matter of fact, not like formats we've had for the last year, two years. Um, you know, sets come out and ruin the format. Now we got Atlanteans coming out and these. I'm pretty sure Atlanteans are going to break it, but um, I know it can. It definitely has potential. But I'll talk about that later. So this is D Nasty Karibo, seven seven twenty seven, signing out. Uh, Y'all make sure to subscribe and like the video.